Okay, so I'll do a little walk around the bike while uh, we're just waiting for the choo choo train to come past again. Uh, there we go. What can I say? It's a beast. Uh, it does 300 kilometers an hour quite easily. While we're just bashing through the Jarrah Forest, I'll give you a quick background uh, to the story about my 500cc Himalayan. I just wanted to start off by saying that uh, the meltdown was all due to my ignorance and stupidity. I, I don't believe it's got anything to do with the way the Himalayan was originally built. Um, I did an adventure ride about 12 months ago in August 2021 uh, along some really gnarly, sandy, rocky, shitty tracks um, and I was pretty heavy on the clutch and ended up burning it out. Um, I managed to adjust the cable just enough to limp me home. I should have changed the oil and put a new clutch in it straight away but I didn't and I think the overheated clutch also overheated the oil and destroyed its lubricating properties. The piston being the hottest part of the engine um, wasn't getting lubricated properly and uh, on the ride it began to decrown and the gudgeon pin started to slap an elongated hole in the piston. Uh, it was pretty noisy. Um, take a look at my video uh, Himalayan meltdown for that discovery. Now I guess I could have just pushed in a new piston and rings. Uh, the ball was unmarked, conrod was fine, uh, the head was not damaged at all, but why settle for 411 cc's when there's a 462 big ball kit available? Why settle for 462 when there's 477? So I started asking around the forums and Facebook uh, about the big balls and was put onto a guy in Perth who told me he had a 500 cc piston and ball available. Uh, check out Oz Himmer. YouTube. Um, but that was going to need a bit of work uh, to the crankcase to take the bigger pot. But I'm going to have to split the case to check if there's any damage to the big end anyway, right? 500cc sounded just nice. So the deal was done. I swapped my barrel for the 500 and picked up a Himalayan Tools cam and new cam chain while I was there. Here's a list of specs that the bike's running now. We've got the Himalayan Tools cam and chain. Uh, the head's been ported and polished and deshrouded around the valves to make that breathe a lot better. Uh, add a slight skim just to get rid of a couple of marks that I made when I was doing the, the head work. And I had that done at a local machine shop. It's got uh, the new piston, rings, new gudgeon pin, Hot. Um, I put in a Hitchcock's heavy duty clutch using all the plates and all the springs and the OE, uh, some new OEM spring plates, uh, steel plates, sorry. It's got 16 tooth sprocket on the front now and a new chain. Uh, obviously 500cc's needs a bit of a different fuel air mix uh, so the carby got a new pilot jet and main jet. It already had a DNA high flow air filter and Deluxe Tech muffler, um, but I've also cut some holes in the side panel and removed the air intake scoop and moulded the intake to, to breathe more efficiently. I run it on 98 octane fuel wherever possible. Um, I've got a little video uh, in this section showing the compression that I'm getting and um, if you keep watching you'll also see it do 
0 to 100 in just under 10 seconds, which I'm pretty happy with. As far as fuel economy goes, I'm getting 5.7 litres uh, per 100 at the moment. Um, I used to get around about 4.7, I think, so that's gone up a bit. I might be guilty of giving a few more herbs, but I can't see that fuel economy coming down to less than 5.3 litres per 100 if I went steady steady. So uh, I'm banking on getting about 260 kilometres out of a full tank now. But it's got heaps more power uh, and torque. I don't have uh, any dyno results to give you any numbers yet, but as a bit of a challenge to you all, if I reach 500 subscribers to my channel, I definitely will get it dynoed and I will post a video with the results. So it's up to you. Thanks to everybody that has subscribed so far. I've had some really nice comments uh, which encourages me to make more videos and I'm slowly investing in new camera gear and tech stuff to do so. So before you go any further, give that little thumb a tickle and subscribe to my channel. Um, only if you like what I'm putting out there or even if you just like my boyish good looks and sharp wit. If you do happen to have a dyno in Perth WA area, uh, and you'd like to donate some time to give my bike a run on it, please drop me a comment below. Or if you're so desperate to know the results that you'll spare no expense, then I'll also pop a PayPal link in the description for you to do donate to. I think a dyno run is about 200 bucks. If each subscriber donated just two dollars, I'd have it covered. What's this cool t-shirt? And if you'd like a shirt like I'm wearing in the video, also drop me a comment. Alright, one, two, three, here we go. Compression test. Uh, a few people have asked about the compression on the bike since the rebuild. Uh, unfortunately, I've got to take note of the capacity of the uh, the head or the volume of the head when I um, did the head work on that. So I can't give you a compression ratio. Had to take the fuel tank off to get the compression uh, tester on there properly. Uh, but that's off now and we're all hooked up ready to go did run it earlier to just make sure there was oil and stuff all around the engine um, so here we go uh almost 210 psi so it's reasonably high well not not terribly high but uh, we've I think a standard Himalayan 410 uh, should normally have about 185 psi carby model um, from what I've read around the place so 210 yeah we've got fairly good fuel in Australia I'll be running it on 98 generally um, so I think uh, well two, 205 let's call it 205 psi pretty happy with that just a note there also, I am running two foot gaskets. Just left the bike sit for a few minutes as well uh, to just see if the compression's holding. Um, I don't know, maybe five minutes later and it's still holding strong. So uh, that suggests that there's no leaks around the piston or around the valves or the head gasket or anywhere else. So that's good news too.